The quick access toolbar is in the upper left hand corner and it's called that because you can quickly access any command on it in a single click. Right now we have our defaults, hover over it, save as, undo, and then the send and receive. When we click on it, it'll send any emails we have in our outbox and receive any that are out on the server to our inbox. So to be able to customize it, you can do one of many ways. One way is to go ahead and click on the corresponding drop down arrow just to the right of the quick access toolbar and you can see the popular commands. Those that are checked are currently on the quick access toolbar. So if I uncheck it, save as gets removed. Click on it and go back to save as and it's back. Click on the drop down arrow, check like print. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the print button or you can see in the pop up the shortcut keys control P and let's click on the drop down arrow. And if you want to be able to use more commands, then go down to the bottom and click on more commands. And on the left hand side is a list of all the current commands, the popular commands. On the right hand side is what's currently being displayed on the quick access toolbar. So you can go ahead and go through here. It's sorted alphabetically the A's through the Z's. But if you want even more, or better yet, all the commands that are available, select all. And it's sorted first, well, by the labels, then numerically, and then A's down to the Z's. We can go all the way down to the, how about moving items around, like from folder to folder. So we can go ahead and double click to add that over, that after we click OK, we'll add it to our quick access toolbar. Or you can go ahead and let's do, well, let's do another one. Select any one that you'd like to do. In fact, we have cut, copy, paste. Cut is under the C's, so if we scroll back up, and there's our pair of scissors. Go ahead and select it and click on Add. And then once you add them over to the right-hand side, you can reorder them. So what you see at the top is on the left-hand side, left to right, top to bottom. So if you want Cut to be all the way up to the top or on the left-hand side, first in the Quick Access Toolbar, with it selected, go ahead and click on the Up Arrows arrow several times. And it's right up at the top there. And then when you're done, just go ahead and click OK, and there you go. Now, for me, when it comes to having these commands being too close to one another, that I might accidentally click on one when I meant to click on the other. So what you can do is you can add what are called separators, either to give you more spacing in between your commands on the quick access toolbar, or to put them in groups, like you see here on the Home tab, you got the new group separated by a separator, a spacer, and the delete group from the respond. Well, you can add as many separators in between the commands as you'd like, for example, you can again click on the drop down arrow and go to more commands or let me click off you can go backstage click on file if you're in that neck of the woods and go down to options and there's quick access toolbar select it and it opens up the same window or let me click cancel you can right click anywhere on the quick access toolbar and go down to customize the quick access toolbar and it opens up again the backstage with the quick access toolbar selected the same window so from here under popular commands you have got the separator you can go ahead and double click that many times to add it if you added too many to remove it you can double click to remove it or with it selected click on remove I'll go ahead and double click to add quite a few and then with them selected I'll go ahead and click the up arrow to add, let's do two separators between the cut command and the send and receive. And then this separator, we'll just do it right after the send and receive. And then when I'm done, go ahead and click OK, and there's the separators. I don't know if you can see them, but they're very thin vertical lines there, two of them. So I've got more spacing between that command and that one. So I don't have as much of an issue now when I come up here and try to quickly click on a command with it being so close to the other one when I've got my separators. And also, if I want to be able to group my commands, you can use those in the same fashion as you see here on the ribbon with the thin line in between, denoting each group. It's your flavor, whatever works best. We can go ahead and remove them without bringing up the window by simply right-clicking and saying Remove from Quick Access Toolbar. And the line disappears. Right-click, remove, and right-click. And oh, this is fun. Right-click and remove. And another way that you can go ahead and add your commands to the Quick Access Toolbar is right there on the ribbon. So for example, how about the delete one? If I right click on that one, I can add that to the Quick Access Toolbar with the left click. And there's the delete. I can also add an entire group to the Quick Access Toolbar by right clicking in a blank area of the group. So how about the respond group? Right click in a blank area, add that to the Quick Access Toolbar. 
And what it does is it finds an image or an icon, a default, that represents that group. And in this case, it shows the reply here. But don't be fooled by it or the respond because when you click on it, it opens up and displays everything within that respond group. So if you're over here on the folder tab and you're like, oh, I don't want to go back to the home tab because I have a lot of other commands I'm working with currently on the folder tab. Well, if you have it on the quick access toolbar, you can leave the folder tab up, click on it, access the group from the toolbar, and go ahead and choose your command. How about one more? Let's go back to the home tab. Can I actually add the group's launcher button on the quick access toolbar as well? Because when you click on it, it's the expandable dialog box button, which is another name for it. It expands and opens up a window. Can I add that to it? Well, let's find out. Close out. Right click on that little arrow and say add that to the quick access toolbar. And there's the icon that represents it. Click on it. Hey, cool. We can add the group's launcher button here, the expandable dialog box button, to the quick access toolbar. And to clean things up, because, hey, who likes a messy quick access toolbar? Not me. Right click and let's remove those things that I'm not going to be using anytime soon. Right click and left click and we're back to where we started. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.